The recently concluded Council of Ministers meeting of Labour of the, of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States was quite a success and has laid a roadmap, roadmap for quite a lot of work that needs to be done to harness the potential that this program presents for nationals of the Eastern Caribbean states in the Canadian labor market. One of the things that was discussed at the meeting, we consolidated the fact that we've, so we've established a technical working group among ministries of labor. So we have all our labor commissioners and their teams who work in very close collaboration with the Eastern Caribbean Liaison Service teams in processing the workers in the various respective islands to go to Canada and how they support the Eastern Caribbean Liaison Service to look out for the welfare and the well-being of the workers when they're in Canada. Also, it's been recently recognized the increasing benefit of this program to the Eastern Caribbean in the tune of almost $27 million going to remittances and to the gross national products of the countries in, in total. And so the member states have now convened this, this meeting to see how best we can, we can increase and, ex and, and improve the capacity. And as such, we, we discussed um, a recently concluded strategic plan, a three-year strategic plan. And some of the highlights of that plan were to introduce a secondary agriculture and non-agriculture pilot program, and, and very especially a, a women in agriculture program, where women can, can come to the program but also um, um, be, have mentors who are Canadian farmers, women farmers, and then come back home and, 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 and use what they've learned in, in that experience. Well, St. Kitts and Nevis has for a number of years been part of the Canada Swap the Farm Program, Seasonal Workers Program. And the ECLS clearly has been the organizing body for that and the coordinating body. So they have facilitated the involvement of our, of our workers. And I believe that based on the, the evidence of those who have been and the reports which they have given and the benefits which they have individually indicated in respect of the uh, going on the on the farm program, that they, uh, the, the ECLS has in fact been very useful. And the program, I think, is a very useful program for, for economic benefit. I personally believe that the ECLS is very beneficial to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They were very instrumental in coordinating our farm workers to go to Canada. The flow of communication as well was tremendous. Their input into the process with the implementation of the biometrics data, their, their input was tremendous. We were able to reach our target with the help and the expertise from the ECLS. Over the years, it has encouraged farmers to save. It has helped them understand the need for savings. But more so, it's the end result, the economic benefits um, afforded to, um, to farmers, in that, and that is the farm workers, in that most of the farmers have been able to educate the children, provide health care to their families, give support to the extended family and at the same time to strengthen the whole economic base. In addition, a number of farmers in recent times have been able to go into their own farm production on return to St. Lucia. At least there is another form of income taking place in St. Lucia. So I believe it has been a quite beneficial program to a number of St. Lucians. St. Lucia normally um, sends about 300 workers on average on the program and if you are able to work that out in terms of the economic returns on average net economic returns to those um, individuals who participate is anything in the vicinity of about seven to eight million dollars annually and that is a tremendous contribution to the gross domestic product of St. Lucia. We're very anxiously awaiting for other projects to open, the non-agriculture in particular we're interested in, specifically in the hospitality industry and any vocational type of work that could enhance the skill level of Antiguan and Barbudans. We are most interested in that. So we are pretty much looking forward to that part of the project. The ECLS uh, and the SUP program has got to a stage now where we need some institutional strengthening 
to allow the ECLS to go out into the field in a more dynamic way through the improvement in manpower to promote the program and to access the various sectors. Uh, at, as we speak now, we are mainly focused on agriculture. We need now to look into hospitality, into the health services, into other sectors, um, processing and commercial sectors, construction and other such sectors where there are a tremendous amount of opportunities. So we need to be able to, what I, what I consider to be able to improve on the manpower on the ground in Canada. And at the same time, to be able to develop an even stronger relationship with the Canadian authorities.